Greetings and welcome to Five Minute Weekly Scripture Reveal Bible Study dedicated introducing all to the Word of God intending faith that comes from hearing, that is, hearing the good news about Christ. And know this, we are spiritual beings living in a physical world that have spiritual needs. The Word of God is the only place to deal correctly with our spiritual needs, and here's the challenge for us human beings. Non-believer, let God's word declare God's word to you, igniting faith within. And believer, let God's word boost God's word, increasing faith within. Today we are doing part three, Jesus, the bread of life. The whole scripture text is John chapter six, verse 22 to 59. And we will be picking it up at verse 36, John chapter six. Verse 36, we'll be reading the New Living Translation. But you haven't believed in me, even though you have seen me. Now, we, as we are going through this conversation between Jesus and the crowd, and in the crowd are some Jewish religious leaders and Jews that know about uh, Jesus' miracles, there's a conversation going on. So we're picking it up today from... Jesus' side of the conversation. So Jesus said, you have seen, and still you do not believe. They had not only seen, meaning the crowd, but eaten the multiplied bread and fish, but they resisted the necessary conclusion that he was divine. Now the crowd, the crowd have seen and have experienced and I want to bring it to us today, because a lot of us today have not seen Jesus in the flesh, as this crowd did, but have experienced. And I just want you to think about that in your own lives. John chapter 6, verse 37, New Living Translation. However, those the Father has given me will come to me and I will never reject them. Only those selected by God can come to the Son and believe in him. God's Spirit enables them to come. In other words, God's Spirit goes out and deals with us. All those who have been invited to come to Jesus and have done so can rest assured that God was at work in their lives. This whole thing is done by God. We have no part to do with it other than to accept and follow. Scripture promise, God's word assures us that Jesus will always welcome the sincere seeker. I'll get to the definition on sincere in a minute. And the seeker who comes to believe will never be rejected. We, we gotta stop crossing our thoughts. And what I mean by that is this world, a lot of people will reject us, but we have a promise from the word of God that Jesus, that his father will never reject us. Okay. So let us take that promise, apply it to our lives and continue to move on in God. Now here's the key, sincere. Are you sincere in your walk in Jesus Christ? And the word sincere means free from pretense or deceit, proceeding from genuine feelings. John chapter 6, verse 38, New Living Translation. For I have come down from heaven to do the will of God who sent me, not to do my own will. Now, in this verse, Jesus did not work independently. It's telling us that Jesus did not work independently of God the Father. But in union with him, he came to do the will of God. This should give us even more assurance of being welcomed into God's presence and being protected by him. All who respond positively to God's call can be assured of his protection, and it's protection we need greatly. The protection covers them in this life and for eternity. Our spiritual hunger and thirst are satisfied in this life. And we know 
in the future that we will be raised from the dead to live with Jesus forever. What a what a promise from God, what a goal for us to look to, what a motivator as we go through all that we go through in this life. Yet the guarantee does not apply to phony attachment, those who are not sincere. We must follow him wholeheartedly and commit our lives to him, meaning Jesus. Today we covered part three, Jesus, the bread of life. The teaching, this teaching purpose is to get all to know Jesus Christ from the scriptures. You can find this teaching on youtube.com, channel Minister Panky. Thanks for joining and God bless.